I think it'd be stupid for any leaders to think that the people will stay with you for the rest of your life. Because why? That is an expectation you set for yourself for you to fail. So meaning right. to say you're setting yourself for failure. You're setting yourself for disappointment. You're setting yourself to feel bad. I don't feel bad when the people leave me. Why? Because I've already decided from the beginning that the people will leave me. It's just when. So for as long as the people are with you and they're having a fantastic, amazing ride with you on this journey, enjoy the process. Enjoy the ride. Why? Everyone wants different things at different stages of their life. I want different things at different stages of my life. If I know that for myself, I'm going to be expecting my people to want that as well. If they are with me, for example, Jim Chan is with me for six years and still want to be with me for 60 years, that's because Jim Chan is getting something that he wants from me. The moment Jim Chan doesn't get Correct. what he wants from me, he's not going to be sitting right next to me here to do this podcast and this show over here. <laughs> That's reality. That's real shit. So as far as I'm concerned, I got to continuously be making sure I do what I want to do. If Jim Chan wants what I want, he's not going to go anywhere. I can beat the shit out of Jim Chan and Jim Chan is not going to go anywhere. Why? Because those who want to stay, doesn't matter what you do to them, they will stay. Those who want to leave, it doesn't matter how beautiful a place, even if this is Google shit place that you want to be in, you're not going to stay. Why? People will do what they want to do. People will want to move to where they want to move to. Sometimes it's a thought process. Sometimes it's just a spur of the moment of emotion. Bottom line is, if you don't get what you want from me and my journey and my path, you're going to leave me. So the same thing is going to go for everyone. So leaders don't be this hunkadori thinking that you can inspire people to stay with you for the rest of your life. It's not going to happen. So I don't feel anything at all when my people leave. So sometimes the people, when they leave me, they feel bad because they feel that why in the world that I was fighting with this guy and all of a sudden I say I'm leaving you and then he's like, no feeling one. What do you expect me to do? You are leaving me. I didn't kick your ass out. If you want to leave me and you still want me to feel bad, business is business. It's not personal. It's just business. You chose to leave me. I wish you all the best. That's all I can do. I cannot be crying, moping over, oh, Jim Chan is leaving me. <laughs> so what if Jim Chan is leaving me? Tomorrow I'll replace Jim Chan. Why do I have to replace Jim Chan tomorrow itself? Because Jim Chan has moved on. Guess what? That's a road that needs to be replaced. And it will be replaced. By who? By Andrew. By who? By JLI. By who? By Alan. By who? By Yuria. That's who's going to be replaced. <laughs> the moment another camera person, another editor has not decided that he wants to do this, I'll replace. That's how fast it needs to be done because it's business. It's not personal. We just have to move on. We cannot be always moping over spilt milk. We cannot be crying over spilt milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leaders need to move forward because I didn't move you. You move yourself out. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to move on with a new team. Okay. Right? That's how a leader needs to be. So I'm okay with people leaving me. Okay. I believe if you want me to wake you up, give you a real shit of the real life of what's happening, just follow my page at Ernie Chan Facebook page. I'll see you there.